This is Duke University. The work we're doing is really studying what we call incidental brand exposure. And what that means is basically uh, very short exposures to brand logos. And most of the time people think that these wouldn't have any impact on them at all. And in fact, they're, they've happened to us so frequently, recent estimates say somewhere between three and 10,000 brand exposures a day is the typical number that the U.S. consumer is exposed to. What we were interested in studying was to see if in fact those incidental brand exposures were having any impact on people at all. So certain brands um, are associated with different personality traits. Um, so for instance, the Apple brand um, has really cultivated um, an image of creativity and um, innovativeness. And so we thought that um, being exposed to the Apple brand might lead individuals to become more creative or to have a goal to be more creative. Participants come into the lab and we, um, we tell them they're going to be participating in a visual acuity test. And the way this works is that a box will either pop up on the left or the right of the screen. And their task is to say left or right when the box pops up. In addition to sort of further complicate the task and ensure that they don't catch any glimpse of a logo, for example, um, we have them keep a running tab of the sum of the numbers in the middle of the screen. They think all they're seeing is the box coming up on the left and the number appearing. What they're actually seeing is a box come up, the box disappears for a very, very short duration, like 30 milliseconds, um, a brand logo pops up, the logo goes away and the box appears. What the person's conscious perception is that a box has popped up and gone away and that's it. They don't realize that they've been exposed to the brand logo. What we found is that people who were subliminally primed with the Apple logo uh, actually had a goal to be creative, activated by this exposure, and they were more creative on a later task. So we asked them to um, come up with uses for a brick, um, come up with as many different unusual uses for a brick that they could think of. And what we found is that people who um, had been subliminally primed to the Apple logo were more creative than people who had been subliminally primed to the IBM logo. Most television advertisements don't have much impact on people. And that's because as you're sitting watching the television ad, your defensive screens come up. We know they're trying to persuade us when they show us an ad. So our defensive screens come up and we filter that ad through these defensive mechanisms. These short brand exposures though, people aren't even consciously aware they're occurring. So the defense mechanisms don't come up. And so if you're a brand manager, you might think about perhaps instead of spending so many resources on traditional television advertisement, maybe switch more of those resources over to um, encouraging very brief exposures, perhaps as product placements, not the cheesy product placement where you hold it up like this, but one where it's just seen in passing. Um, perhaps uh, web placements or weaving uh, brands into the natural lives of characters in video games or television shows might be a more effective and efficient way to allocate my marketing resources.